Greece's largest island, Crete, is famed for its picturesque beaches, untamed natural beauty, delectable cuisine, and rich culture and history. Crete, Greece's largest and most southern island, is situated between the Libyan and Aegean seas. The ideal times to visit Crete are in May, June, and September because July and August are the busiest summer months. Generally, if you are planning to go to Crete, here are some top things to do on the Island of Heroes. Number 1. Go to the capital of Crete, Heraklion With 140,000 residents, Heraklion is the fourth largest city in Greece. Known as Crete's capital city, Heraklion is a vivid combination of Athens, the island's government and economy hub, and the most notable historic sites. You can find excellent museums and one of Europe's biggest aquariums in Heraklion. And just outside the city limits is undoubtedly the most fascinating ancient gem in the area for history aficionados, which we'll tackle later in the video. Number 2. Visit the Heraklion Archaeological Museum Found at the center of Heraklion, the city's archaeological museum is one of Greece's and Europe's biggest and most significant museums. The Heraklion Archaeological Museum holds the largest connection of Minoan artifacts and is organized chronologically into 20 rooms. Visitors will start in the Neolithic period, and each room that follows contains jewelry, liturgical figurines, vases, weapons, and armor. Plus, the iconic ivory sculpture of the Bull Leaper from Gnosis Palace and the entire frescoes from Minoan sites on Crete have been brought to the museum. Number 3. Go Inside the Psychro Cave Crete is a place for spelunkers who are lovers of Greek mythology, the Psychro Cave. Legend has it Zeus was born in the cave when his mother, Rhea, was hiding from his father, Kronos. That's why most people call it the Cave of Zeus. Situated above the Lysithi Plateau in the Dictian Mountains, those who want to visit the cave must ascend the mountain on foot via the steep trail. Once you enter the antechamber of the Psychro Cave, you instantly feel the temperature difference. The cave has five chambers, and you'll be in awe of the magnificent stalactites and stalagmites. Archaeologists discovered figures, tools, axes, and seals in this ancient palace of devotion. These artifacts were likely placed as sacrifices by travelers and devotees. You'll also find a lake at the lowest point. Generally, the lake is encircled by enormous stalactites and stalagmites and is the most spectacular sight in the Psychro Cave. Number 4. Stroll Through Gnosis the largest Bronze Age site on the entire island of Crete is Gnosis, which is frequently referred to as the oldest city in Europe. Gnosis refers to a palace and its surrounding city, which housed up to 100,000 people in the 18th century BC. The palace, which dates back roughly 3,000 years ago, is mentioned in Greek mythology as the residence of King Minos, who commissioned Daedalus to create a labyrinth to contain the Minotaur, his son. British archaeologist Arthur Evans initially excavated the remains of Gnosis in 1900, restoring some of the building's structure and frescoes. You can explore the expansive reception courtyard where the royal family would host events and go inside the throne room and sanctuary. Additionally, you can walk part of the royal way toward the seaside to witness the four-story royal apartments. Number 5. Swim at the Balos Lagoon Balos Lagoon is around 60 kilometers northwest of Kania. The area surrounding Balos Lagoon ranks among the top hiking paths in Crete, especially with its amazing view. Balos Lagoon is well known for its turquoise waters, unspoiled wilderness, and exquisite unique scenery. Due to the numerous broken shells, the sand is often a wonderful pinkish color. Young children will enjoy the warm, very shallow sea. The water gets deeper and colder beyond the rocks at the lagoon's edges, making it perfect for snorkeling. Generally, the Natura 2000 program protects the lagoon and the surrounding area because they are home to endangered species of both plants and animals. Number 6. Walk Around Kenia Being one of the largest island cities on the Greek islands, Kenia typically has a lot going on. You can spend at least half a day touring Kenia's old town while on Crete. Stroll through the vibrant cobblestone lanes and take in the stunning Turkish and Venetian architecture, the Egyptian lighthouse, the Jewish quarter, and the mosque of the Janissaries. On the other hand, the Agora, or a municipal market, is a beautiful location to learn about the distinctive culinary goods that help to define the deliciousness and healthfulness of the Cretan diet. You'll explore the flavors and fragrances, sample the local cheeses, pies, spices, and honey. Buy a few trinkets from the area and enjoy a small glass of Sakutia, the well-known beverage made on the island. Number 7. Take a Dip at Matala Beach 
Next on the list is Matala Beach. The beach is roughly an hour's drive, or 68 kilometers southwest of Heraklion. One of Greece's most well-liked tourist spots is a true hippie village with amazing rock and cave formations. Here you can see caves that serve as burial grounds from the Roman and Christian eras. There are also some underwater caves in the northwest walls of the bay that were carved into the soft white limestone thousands of years ago. They were originally utilized as homes because many include staircases, beds, or windows. You'll need to pay an entrance fee to enter these caves, but relaxing on Matala's beach is also worthwhile. Number 8. Visit the Samaria Gorge The Samaria Gorge, a UNESCO biosphere reserve inside the Samaria National Park, is the most magnificent of Crete's spectacular gorges. And one of Crete's most enjoyable outdoor activities is hiking the Samaria Gorge, a 15-kilometer journey via winding paths and deserted settlements. The trail passes through various environments, including dense green forests and rocky, steep mountains. Samaria Gorge is home to more than 450 different plant species, including 70 varieties that are specific to the area, like cypress, pine, and Crete maple. Besides that, a total of 30 different bird species call the nearby rocks home, including endangered species like the eagle, hawk, wild goose, and bearded vulture. Number 9. Check out the Elephonisi Beach Located on Crete's southwest coast is the beautiful sandy Elephonisi Beach. It is roughly 211 miles from Heraklion and 74 kilometers from Kania town. Elephonisi Beach is frequently referred to as one of the nicest beaches in the world. The beach is a protected natural area known for its pink dunes and beaches. Clear, shallow, and lagoon-like waters separate the island from the mainland, and you can frequently cross them on sandbars without getting your feet wet. But there is also a sizable natural pool where you can swim or simply lay in shimmering water that is only knee or ankle deep. Number 10. Explore the Sacred Monastery of Arcadi The stunning Sacred Monastery of Arcadi is perched on the Cretan Plateau. It's a 20-mile drive from Rathamnon, but the view and architecture are stunning. The Renaissance style left its stamp on the present church, which was built in the 16th century. Generally, the architecture combines Roman and Baroque features and is still very present. That's why nearly every location is stunning, so Instagram addicts and photographers won't have any trouble capturing the ideal shot. You can also visit the bell tower and take in the site of the Corinthian columns. It is truly one of the most unique and revered activities in Crete. Alternatively, you can reserve a wonderful and exciting e-bike tour to visit the monastery and the surrounding area. Number 11. Tour the Fishing Village of Sisi One of those towns with a laid-back attitude and charming appeal is the Fishing Village of Sisi. Unlike many other Greek cities, Sisi has avoided the hordes of people searching for the ideal location for their vacation photos. This is even more surprising given its convenient location, only 45 minutes from the airport in Heraklion. Since it is a flourishing fishing community, Sisi has maintained its individuality while not completely caving into tourist expectations. Locals sell fresh fish and produce grown nearby during the day from the back of their rusted pickups, and at night it seems the entire hamlet makes its way down to the tranquil waters to swim and socialize. Just keep in mind to carry your swimming gear as well. After a few hours of dooring, you may relax on the small beach. There you have it, the top 11 things to do in Crete, Greece. Crete has plenty of historical forts, delicious Greek dishes, and breathtaking views everywhere you look. Generally, Crete offers a ton of incredible activities, and it's a guarantee that you won't be short of options.